Hello and welcome to a new game. This is Robo Instructors, which for this game I didn't buy. I got the code, the Steam code sent to me by a company called Game If You Are, which is like an English. I don't know. I guess they advertise for indie games. I'm not sure. This is the first time, it's not like a very personalized email to be fair, but it's not like... It does seem like I was targeted as a channel for this. It is a programming type puzzle game. I don't know anything about it. Also, just, you know, I'm not getting paid. <laughs> I'm just, I just got the game for free. And I'm gonna look at it, because why not? If it really sucks, you're never gonna see this anyway, so it's fine. And if it doesn't suck... You know, we get some content for the channel, so it's a, it's a very good thing. Um, but yeah, it's interesting. Like, I, I, I've been doing this YouTube thing since 2013, and I was a tiny channel for most of that time. I still am a comparatively small channel, to be fair. Uh, and I never got any emails from anyone, basically. I got, like, over the, I would, let's say from 2013 to the end of last year, the end of 2018, I maybe got three emails on the address that's listed for the channel on YouTube or something like that. I think I was once invited on a Minecraft server, but it didn't seem like a good fit for me. So I never really, I never actually, <laughs> I never actually replied to that, which is very rude. Uh, then another time I was asked to, they actually offered me money to play on a prison server thing, which I didn't want to do. And so I, it was also kind of a weird email, so that one I didn't feel bad about not replying. And then this year, someone put me on a list somewhere. I'm getting like emails now for very various different, mostly indie games. And I don't mind getting those emails because it's like, you know, it's not that easy to keep track of indie games coming out. And there's some interesting games in there, nothing really... I never got a code sent to me yet, though. I got like offers for like I think I could like ask for codes on some games. That's how it works. Let's see where that is. I actually can't find anything right now. What does the music again? I was wondering <laughs> if it would come back. It is coming back. Can I see my? This is weird. Where's the last one of those emails? There's not too many of them, so I'm fine with them. Yeah, it's always the same. Like, there's a company called Super Indie Games, I think. But it's always just like, here's the release date, watch the trailer, and if you want a key code, ask for one, and else got sent one from them. But this, this one, they actually just sent me the key. And so I, I, you know, this is, here we are. I've wasted three minutes of your life already. <laughs> I'm rambling on about this. But yeah, I don't know. It seems like an interesting game. We're gonna have a look at it. I wanted to tell you who made the game, but I don't have that right here now. And that's actually bad. Because I do want to tell you. I always want to tell you. It's an indie game, so I think it was only one person making the game. Companies go called card big a b games and it's like a twitter somewhere is it is this it big a b games yes alex butler developer of robo instructors and stevenage which i think is somewhere in england right <laughs> um who made the game and let's have a look let's just start whatever there we go begin Salvage engineer, arrival report acknowledged, await instruction. So I know nothing, I just know it's a Cody type game, which I always enjoy. Iceny, salvage arrival reports. So you found the robot? Looks cute, if a little primitive, but it's the best that salvage. But if that's the best salvage you can find, well, let's just say it won't even cover the cost of the value nutri soup rations you're no doubt enjoying as you read this. If you've used the scans you sent and I have to say I'm a little vexed. If I wanted to find rusted metal and useless uh, detritus, detritus, I don't know, you could have just stayed on Earth. 
Eisene was a state-of-the-art vessel. Where are the ship components, scadding and computers? Where are the colonists? Surface weather must be much harsher than expected to have torn it apart like that, so no wonder you aren't picking up any survivors. Therefore I agree with your idea to try and use this robot you found in your, in your stead. Better safe than sorry, as I can't lose any more of you guys this quarter. Wow. So get connected to your new fr best friend down there and find a way to salvage something from this. Because when we aren't making big horrors, I'm looking bad to Nigel. When I'm looking bad, you're looking for a new job. Ciao for now, Judith. Alright. Who's Nigel? So... Sure. Functions unlocked. Robo left and robo forward. Sure. Each car instructs the robot to move to the next side of the current tile counterclockwise. Runtime 275 minus seconds? What's... What? Why? Why? Whatever. Robo forward instructs the robot to move forward onto a tile it's currently facing. The robot will favor veering to the right hand side when doing this. Runtime 450 ms. So I guess it's not really milliseconds. So, I don't know, is, is minus seconds like a thing that I don't know about, or is it like a made-up thing for the game? Let's find out. Hmm, yeah, no autocomplete thing on Google, so I'm pretty sure. <laughs> it's not a real thing. Or is maybe minus, well, yeah, like a second, we're not on Earth. Sure, so maybe that's... Why? Like an Earth second, a minus second. Yeah, that makes sense. That's probably it. Yeah, it's also capitalized, which, you know. <sighs> Alright, so move to the next side of the current tile so it just rotates counterclockwise. I, I was going clockwise. And then we can move forward, sure. Type commands here. Sure, so. Can we autocomplete? Yes. Let's pray to run. Modify the commands and rerun to reach the exit. Sure. I don't know why I even did what it told me to do, because... Or oh, do I have to go from where I am now? Or does it start me over the start? It starts me over the start, good. I assumed it would, but you never know, right? Let's write some terrible code here because we don't have any any way of repeating a command. Can I do this? Can I walk over this? Wait, so why oh, I'm veering to the right. Because triangles, yeah. This is gonna be weird to think about. So if I just go. Not very good, not very good. Can I do... oh yeah, we can cut and paste and all of that. So is that just gonna... let me go straight? Not really, this is weird. <laughs> we should really spend some time and looking at this. It feels very strange though. Yeah, it feels really strange. <laughs> okay, so moves forward. This is really weird. Moves forward, moves left, moves forward, moves left. You definitely shouldn't move left here. This is very, very weird. <laughs> the triangle stuff is just really hard to... Like, it's very unintuitive, I guess. Where is this gonna end up now?
Yeah, this is really weird. I'm still not sure how the movement works. Uh, is this gonna move forward now or do I have to go left? No, yeah, this is forward now. I'm making available the engineering primer I've somewhat hastily constructed to accompany the workshops following assembly one or assembly 17. Outlining my procedural language and automation techniques in simple terms, the primer contains everything necessary for effective control of your automata. However, I'm worried the descriptions may prove insufficient and terse in many areas. I'm not a natural teacher. Please consult with your workshop nominee and local group if you find yourself floundering. <laughs> Message me and other groups if possible for further guidance. No matter your specialty, it is my belief that with careful study, proper application of the primer and the dogged determination we may all contribute to the survivor of the colony. Dr. A. Bartram. Primer section recovered loops. A loop is used to repeat commands. It will repeat the commands in its scope forever. A loop scope is the commands intend <laughs> intended that come after indented that come after a loop line. Yeah, okay, so, and there's no, I guess, well, maybe we'll get like an end or a break or something, but for now it's just gonna loop forever. So yeah, never getting to this line, because everything that's in here is just gonna get caught forever. Comments. Yeah, we're not gonna use those. <laughs> uh, yeah, the hash, the, the pound sign. Use this code. Uh, these are just comments used to make notes. Hello, Robo. Finished in 3.525 ms. Nine phrases. Seems decent. Yeah, seems decent. I don't know. It's weird though. I also obviously have no idea how long this game is. Oh, we have multiple stages, okay. The code will be rerun each stage, the single solution must solve R. What? <laughs> Reach the first stage exit, okay, so... Is this enough? Forward, left. Not actually enough. Because I, I go here and then I be a right and then I go left and I'm on the left side. Okay, and then I need to go forward again, sure. Wait, did that just get rid of that? It did, right? Yeah. That's weird. Go away. No. Oh. This should be fine. Can I speed it up? Oh yes, change game speed. Game knows. <laughs> the game knows. My fellow Pathfinders, congratulations, we have arrived safely at our new home, Bright. As some of you may have heard, conditions on Bright are quite different to the pre mission spectroscopic analysis. I've heard words like uninhabitable and frozen death bar bandled around, bandied around, but what does un uninhabitable mean anyway? I prefer the term uninhabited. And guess what, guys? That means we have the planet all to ourselves. Very, very positive spin there. I know every single one of you is a pioneer at heart. Instead of seeing adversity, we see opportunity. All the power we would have used terraforming this planet into a lush paradise we can redirect to the now critical heating systems. Our surprise were to see us through long, back-breaking days of hard labor building our dream colony. Now, with a much reduced work regime, 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 regime. 
I don't know. <laughs> These surprise will stretch weeks longer. I can't, I'm too tired. I shouldn't be recording anything. That's why I can't read, by the way. That's my excuse, at least. Listen, what I'm saying is, let's pause, let's think. I've been crystal clear from day one that there will be challenges, but no challenge can withstand the awesome power of the human spirit. I know we've all got the bright stuff. As we speak, Alice Bartram and her crack engineering team with my support are putting the finishing touches to a new plan, so expect exciting updates very soon. As always, my aides have an open door borders policy. <laughs> Drop by anytime in office hours. See accompanying message about reduced office hours due to power saving protocols and let's chat. Jonathan Frinton Belmont, Governor Designate, Interim. Sure. So Dr. A. Bartram is Alice Bartram. That we learned. And then the Governor, well, at least Interim Governor, is Jonathan Frinton Belmont. RoboScan scans the tile in front, returns a value indicating the tile property is 1, norm or 2, exit 1, or minus 1, I mean, no tile law, and 999, negative 999 means unknown, which is a weird return, but I don't know, who knows what will come up to in the next few levers here. And we have if statements, conditionals, if can be used to execute commands or not based on the condition. Obviously, yeah, the RoboScan alone would not make a lot of sense without an if. Because you can scan and then, you know, <laughs> needs to be an if there for that to make any sense. So if if scan is one, then what in front of me is a tile and I can move. And if um, what in front of me is not a tile, then uh, we turn left. Finished in eighteen thousand eight hundred ms. Four phrases, and the run size is 52. I wonder how you make it fast. It's just like if you just. Make it like a really, really long one? <laughs> Probably. Like you just. You don't loop it, you just repeat it, copy paste it a bunch. I don't know what the longest one was. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11 times that or something. Maybe. Or 10 times right here, maybe. But I don't really care. I'm gonna exit the lever. We're not done yet? <laughs> We're still in this lever? Okay, click to open the code reference that contains all the primer sections and functions we covered so far. Scroll, okay. So we have left, forward, scan, uh, we have the loop, and comments and if conditionals. Very good. Some unfinished code found on this lever. Try running it and reworking. I just start from scratch. So, scan the line front. Well, we don't want to go forward if there's no tile. Right. Um, that was very fast. We should maybe turn on the speed again a bit. We have variables now. It's going, we're getting lots of stuff very, very soon here. It's interesting. Variables. Um, you can save a number for use later in a var. Sure. Var scan and then robo scan is the only thing we have right now that has any, like, yeah, that can assign a value to something. So, yeah. <laughs> and then we can look at it if it is one or then go forward. And if it is minus one, go left. This can be used to avoid having a car slow function multiple times, which so is check the same result. You can also allow saving or start to use much later. So yeah, you only run the RoboScan once here instead of, otherwise you would do if RoboScan is one, if RoboScan is negative one, and then uh, this way you only run it once and then just have to restart because it doesn't change, the scan doesn't change. And more conditions. If exp, <laughs> then we check if exp is non-zero. So zero is interpreted as far as well one. 
or any other non-zero is true. And it's inter interpreted, interpreted as true, the indented commands will run. Okay. Yeah, just if true, if false, whatever. The keyword is compares two values producing one true and the value are the same or zero. Otherwise, this works naturally with if. Makes sense. Not can also be used to convert a zero to a one or any non zero to zero. Also makes sense. Not x is y may also be written as x or may also be written x is not y. Yeah, okay. So it's just, just syntax producing one. Uh, true when the values differ. Sure. Are we done now? With this? Not here. Oh, we did. Okay, keep going. Look before you leave. I'm Brian. And the next one. Message recovered. James, the scans just aren't 100% reliable. There are areas where we can't be sure if there's actually metal to be recovered or not. It doesn't seem like we even know why. In some places, it's becoming hard to even move the robots around. Scans of minus 999 basically mean we don't even know what is in front of us. I'd err on the side of caution, just avoid them if possible. I'm already getting an E4 from below about fall damage. We'll probably have to abandon salvage from the uppermost levers. Hey Jacob, do you have any idea what I should make of this attached. I've lost another worker. Is RoboScan 40 or something? And I was starting to think I was getting my head around all this. Hackett. Hackett, a very good name for a code person. Oh, we can also read our messages. Very good. Alright, so what are we doing here? We're looping. We're scanning. Uh, and saving the scan into the variable card scan and then we see if it is one which means that uh, It's normal Then we go forward But we don't do anything otherwise So I mean this is gonna you know not work So you also need to if scan, oh, I can't look at me like that. I can't type. <laughs> I should be sleeping as I'm doing this. Uh... Which I mean, it almost works, doesn't it? <laughs> Um, so we go, we go forward, we end up here, we scan, this is not a tile, so we turn left. We scan again, it is a tile, we move there, we are right, we are here. We the same again, we're here. So, but what if I do, well, so, yeah, if I do this and only turn left, then... This is not absent, it's this, right? But then this is the absent one over there. Sure. All right, so we need, I don't have an or. <laughs> so we have to, and you don't have an else. <sighs> Let's just write the code we need to write, I guess. Uh, let's exit two. Comparison. In addition to is, values well, can be compared with. Uh, Which one is it? <laughs> greater, 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 or equal? Uh, oh, it, it tells me right here, less than or less than or equal. <laughs> I didn't look. I just looked at this and I was confused because I don't know. I'm tired. I shouldn't be recording. 
it's fine though. You're very fine. We're doing a good, good job. So yeah, that's just very, very basic stuff. Conditions. What else? Else, yes. <laughs> After if you can use else to deal with the otherwise cases more easily. An else block runs when the if above it doesn't. Sure. What else if can be chained together to deal with many possible exclusive cases? This ensures only one intended block will be executed. So we make the example 14. If it is one, we go left or forward. Else if it is less than three, we go forward. And if it is uh, greater than 12, we go forward twice. And if none of those come true, we go left. So basically, if it's not one and it's not less or equal to three, but also not greater than 12, which would be a number between four and 12, then it would go left, right? Right. All right. Try using L's in the comparison, like this one. Do we have to? I guess we do. Uh, wait, I need this one. If it's less than zero. Zero? Can't type. It's gonna go left. And if it is. to one we go forward try using else oh yeah sure <laughs> I guess we don't even need this then Function unlocked. Robo use operates on the current tile, returning tiles, tile specific data, or zero otherwise. Takes 400 ms. Only got an achievement. The gist, maybe? I couldn't really read it. I can't read the bottom right corner of my screen where the mic's in the way. Anyway, I'm fine with this. And we're moving on. One more lever, one more lever. Message recovered. The Isony, I don't know, I'm just gonna call it that for now, will eventually become too dangerous to access. The current thinking is we'll need to conduct the final stages totally using the bots, including powering down our transport routes. Lillian's team will be fitting power switches into lower levers according to Dr. Bartram's specs. These will eventually allow the robots to turn off the power. Once your robots have identified the function robo use, the story is you'll be able to call this function to flip the switches. Usage from bottom call robo use on the power switch to target the switch. Return returns one of the switches now on, zero of the switch has been turned off. These power switches have RoboScan code 10. Apparently the use function should include sufficient documentation. I can see you guys rolling your eyes already, but remember she's under a lot of pressure below to Jacob. All right, yeah, so RoboScan scans the tile in front, returns a value indicating the tile properties, and now we have 10 power switch. And then RoboUse operates on the current tile, so we need to stand on it. So we need to scan if it's in front of us, and then move there, and then use the RoboUse function. Um... Operates on the current tile, returning data or zero otherwise. Yeah, trans one on the power switch if it's on, zero if it's off, and then there'll probably be more things you can use this on, but for now we only have the one tile. James, you can use the pause function. It took me a while to get it, but it's pretty useful now. I can show you guys at the next team meet. It says Aaron Kellner, which means waiter. Like someone who serves <laughs> food and drinks in a restaurant. I remember the doctor stopping the code and moving forward at her own pace. Does anyone remember how to do this? It's flying all over the right place and I can't keep track of it. Hack it. Alright. 
Press to run the execution paused. Notice the current evaluation is highlighted. Sure. Press or use keyboard. Step forward to the next one. Level solution can be saved and loaded here. Oh, that's interesting. You need to do it too. Done it now. Can I now do things? So what are we doing here? Moving forward, left, forward. No wait. Forward, left, forward, forward, and I'm here. Then I do. I save the robo use here. It is zero. Why do I run this twice? That's confusing. <laughs> and go left. What do these other ones look like? What is my goer? I forgot. Do I need to turn them off or on? <laughs> I don't I don't I don't know. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> I don't remember what I need to do here. Oh, but the exit is not open now, right? So I need to do something with it. So we can just do this still. We move forward. I can't get my cursor if I want it to be. And then we can just run an if in here. Not good code <laughs> quite clearly wait so let's do this in a better way um but this is weird because use it returns but it also uses it right like i can do Does it still use it though? Yeah, it does. Which is weird. Because then like I have to use it like three times? That's silly. Is there a better way? There has to be a better way. Because then it would be if power is um Wait, is one <laughs> is zero now? I don't know. doing that. Can I actually do this? No, not that. Fine. This is the other way. <laughs> it's still kind of annoying though. There has to be a better way. Anyway, verbal forward location returns the ID of the tile the robot is facing. Um, each tile and lever has a distinct ID number, positive and non-zero. Okay, I was wondering what that was about. So we can now like save an ID and then maybe like go a certain path or something. I don't know. I don't know. Scope. 
indented code like those that come out of the loop or if lines represent scope. A variable can only be used in the scope it was declared and that makes sense too. It's not a global variable unless we declare it outside of the indentations. I assume. Yeah, to make a variable more widely available it can be declared an outer scope. So for example, top level variables are accessible everywhere and will not be removed. So yeah, right here. Variables are removed at the end of their scopes or scope. So variable usage in a loop will start in a fresh variable in each iteration. That makes sense. Unless we declare it outside the loop. So yeah, here if scan is one, then foo is one, two, three, and then if foo is one, two, three, go left. And if you check here, then it's not, there's no variable here, so you can't execute the if the comparison. But if you declare it out here, set, set it to one, two, three, go left, and then decay outside or compare outside of the scope again, and it works. All right. Best scoring code in each category is automatically saved. That's good. That's a very neat feature, actually. I like that. Yeah, but it's only we only have one solution, so obviously this is this is the one. I kind of would like to keep going here until here, but we're not gonna. We're gonna end the episode here. I don't know how long this game is, but so far it seems it seems fine. It's a bit quirky, but that's fine. I don't mind that. Um, it does seem to, you know, like it's very close to just writing code now. Already, like we're. We have lots of stuff already. We're not like it's not a full-fledged language yet, but we're getting there. We're getting the area of loops. We have variables. We have ifs. We have com you know like the greater than, less than. So I don't know. It might get a little tricky. Uh, already reminds me a lot of Shenzhen, just without like we don't have any limitations so far. We just have we just write code, we just make code work. Um, but yeah. I'm having a good time with it so far. We'll see how it goes. I intend to finish the game, obviously, and then have a full play through, play throughout. Unless it really annoys me at some point, and then I'm gonna scrap all of this, and you'll never get to hear it. Uh, this, I mean, by it. Um, so yeah, that's that. Yeah. Also, I'm wondering if these people. <laughs> Let me actually check. The people from the the company. I forgot already. I'm like scatterbrained. Uh, game if you are, game if you are. What's his name? John. I wonder if he's, if John is gonna follow up on this. If he's gonna check my channel to see if I actually did something. I'm not gonna tell him. I think. But it seems weird. <laughs> I could email him back. Actually, it would probably be polite to do so. But I I, I don't wanna. <laughs> so I'm not gonna. Um. But yeah. Hey. Hey, John. If you're following up on this to see if I did make a video. I didn't I didn't make a video. There you go. So you, you did you did find a game I was actually interested in. At least so far. I'm not promising anything else. But yeah, that's that. And I also hope that everyone else watching enjoyed some more nerdy code games. But what could be better. And uh, that's it for today. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.